first day when we all went out, on the first day you went out, mm. um, we were drinking a lot of coffee because our day started at like 5 a.m. and so naturally had a lot of coffee and very little food and that turned out to not be a great mix being on the ocean. Um, so eating I found to be very helpful yeah. and not drinking coffee actually Dry was very helpful. Generally. And then um, little armbands with the pressure point, I found those to be helpful and ginger pills. I yeah. ate a lot. I ate more ginger doing this movie than. Did you? I, so I, I, did, I, you never did. No, I, I actually after I never did, took any tablets or anything after that initial day, but for me it was purely no coffee and breakfast. Mm -hmm. That was all I. And that's what someone said. I remember just arriving there, but what do you have for breakfast? No, I, I didn't have anything. I had three coffees. They were like, oh, "Well, that's God. why you're throwing <laughs> up." Yeah. Um, so they say, yeah, if it's especially if it's sunny, having coffee and no food is not not good. No, I'm pretty good with it, you know, and and I don't know, I don't think it, ha it has so much to do with um, your previous experience on a boat. I think either people have it or not, and oh. and I've heard about sailors because it, you know there's a lot of fishermen in Iceland, obviously, yeah. and that every time they go out, yeah. they get seasick for for 13, 14 years, and so you know, and they just have to get through it and keep on keep on working. Yeah. Uh, I actually, I've gotten really seasick uh, when I was, I was a teenager, I went on a, on a trolling boat for over the Easter, you know, I was 10 years old, I puked my guts, but I, since then I never really had any, any problem, and smaller boats are not problematic for me, it's, it's different. We're not going to die out here.